watch this on YouTube, you probably won't experience quite that little break time there because I'll likely edit it out. But those of you watching the stream, you of course had to endure that, unfortunately. Now, as I was saying, what I'm going to do here is a little different. I'm going to do something called giving voice. What that is, is I'm going to play through an RPG and I'm going to give voice to the characters. Um, most of course, that'll just be RPGs that don't already have voiceovers to them. Um, that also means that I will give voice to all the characters, male or female. Uh, don't, I may take it seriously at times, I may just joke around, it just depends on how I'm feeling at times. Part of this is just for fun and to get views on my channel and to have people pay and entertain people. The other part is just practice for me since I don't want to do voiceover work. It's just way of exercising my voice. So, enjoy it if you want. Don't, whatever. I'm going to do it either way. Anyway, uh, you can also check out this game. Uh, this one's called The Jail of the Common Man. It's by Alpha Games. Uh, it's the second in a series of games. Uh, well, they're kind of a series of games, but there was a previous game they did. People were thinking of the game Undefeated. Which was also an amazing game. I actually started this game a while back, but I got playing RPGs for a while, so I'm used to the whole invisible encounters or anything, but I have tend to prefer the visible encounters now that I've been around for a while and I've seen them in a lot of the games. I like being able to actually avoid the fights whenever I can. It makes the game more enjoyable to me, at least, because I want to get to more of the story. I don't want to get caught up in random battles over and over again. I mean, I trust the people that make these games, so I'm sure the invisible encounters and the random encounters are too annoying like they are in some of the games. Some of the games don't really know who too well how to time the random encounters. So sometimes you'll have a random encounter every two or three steps. I'm looking at you, so I get in Tigris, uh, which was a major game company, so they had no excuse for fucking it up like that. But anyway, moving along, I'm gonna go with physical encounters. City when I was talking about the actual fights and everything, I prefer the story. So with that in mind, I'm going to choose the easy difficulty, not because I'm not good at RPGs or anything. I mean, I've played all kinds of different ones and played more difficult ones, and I've gotten through them, but I, what I play RPGs for is the story. So I'm going to go with easy just so I can play the game, enjoy it, and I might play through some other time on a harder difficulty, but right now I just want to see the story of the game. Fixing that fence is going to take several hours, so I won't come back at midday.
getting started, I suppose. It's not gonna get fixed by me staring at it. I suppose it was too much to hope that they had overlooked what was in this 
still has a stool in it. I can't face washing it up.
themselves by noting their actions. Then in the event that they ahem <laughs> pass away, we have a record so that not all their adventures are lost. <laughs> you are writing even while we are talking. Of course! You don't want me to have to explain this to you all over again, do you? Now then, it's a business. Not that I'm sure why they have to save ones of the scholars. I mean, it's an interesting idea, but given that you can save basically anywhere anyway, uh, yeah. How wise! Who would find out the scribes if you travel in dangerous places?
closer than my place anyway, I haven't got any food, so there's no point in taking you there. If I help you, can you walk a bit? Yeah, I think so. I think going to Lyric's house would be best. It's just back a short way than east. By the way, do you have a name? Yes, it's Aiden. Nice to meet you, Aiden. My name is Jerry. I don't think I'm up to the social graces at the moment. Do you think we can move on? Hi, it's Lyric, isn't it? I'm Jared, from Perlin Farm. Yes, that's me. And I've seen you a few times in Greenwood. What can I do for you? Mm, it's a bit awkward, really. I found this dude passed out in the woods. He's not had any food in a while and nowhere decent to sleep. And while I was kind of hoping that maybe you could help out a bit, here, let me have a look at him. Mm, right. Food, clean up, and some sleep all the time. Young man. Sure, you could do with a clean up as well. Takes a brave man to stand on point of view. <laughs> yes, well, in the last couple of days. <laughs> no point standing around and I don't chat. Let's get started. Put 
simply having someone who needs your support will help you keep your united team. Very well, he can come along if he wants to. I can't make him. God, <laughs> he's thin and weak. He needs his health built up. Sounds good. We'll do it, won't we, Aiden? Uh, I don't think I'll be much help. The fact is, I lost my knives and don't have a weapon. That's not a problem. I can lend you something. It isn't very sharp, but it's better than nothing. And now we are off with you. Whatever. 